Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this rather gorgeous left-hand drive Range Rover Vogue SE 3.9 automatic you can see behind me. Um, two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus uh, at the end of each there'll be uh, a bit of start-up action and uh, engine idling with some uh, video under the bonnet. Hope you like the videos. There we go. Okay, so we'll look around this uh, rather magnificent K registration, so either 1992 or 93, uh, whatever, it's one of the last of the coil sprung cars rather than uh, with air suspension. Um, Range Rover Vogue SE 3.9 automatic. Obviously left-hand drive, as you can see. Now, uh, this one has just come to us from uh, a serial Land Rover uh, collector and enthusiast that we've uh, dealt with for years. He bought it a few years ago to use on his property in Mallorca um, and then had it completely restored and bought over here. But uh, we we'll say completely restored, it didn't need body or chassis restoration because it had been in uh, southern Spain all its life. So the, uh, the body shell and chassis um, were lovely, but it did need a full repaint. Originally it was red, now it's black. It's had a whole new interior, an awful lot of mechanical work and it is quite simply fantastic. Just walking around it, um, standard SE spec, so it's got the colour-coded alloys, um, Pirelli Scorpion tyres all around. The only difference I can find from UK SE spec is the wood is slightly darker and it doesn't appear to have ever been fitted with ABS, unlike the UK ones. So it's one less thing to go wrong in fairness. Uh, beautiful chocolate interior. got the fittings for a tow bar but no tow bar fitted. Now, I think it's recently had a new top tailgate but whoever painted it has done a really really good job especially as it's black. I'm not sure if it's painted in the UK or in Spain but they've done an excellent job of it as you can see. Right let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not much in the way of bad bits. We've got a little white mark just on the um, offside front bumper overrider just there, the uh, rubber corner piece, plastic corner piece. Otherwise, the wheel looks like it's the original one, so it's very slightly faded. Paint, as I say, is excellent. Uh, one or two minor marks in the paint here and there, which we'll show you if we can. Um, the paint quality is very good indeed, in my opinion. Let's see if we can find any orange peel anywhere. Looking down the near side, looks beautifully straight, apart from perhaps a couple of tiny parking dinks in the back of the, uh, the near side front door, but we'll come to that. Um, bonnet corners are lovely. They do tend to rust there. Wheels are in excellent shape, obviously been refurbished. And under here, idea what that's like. Carrying on up, scuttle panels all very good. Screen is very nice. It's a heated screen as it should have. Roof panel is good. Slightly raised bit of rubber just there on the very edge of the, um, the sunroof. Near side door, yeah, there's a couple of very tiny parking dinks. You can just see one on the video there, and there's another one just above it. If I move the video, you can see them reflecting. That's about it in terms of uh, body issues. Now, interior, as we say, is lovely. I'm not sure if the door cards have been replaced. I think they're original, but I think it's had all new leather in it. Um, it actually still smells new, it's gorgeous, uh, in this sort of chocolate brown colour. It's got the electric seats and they'll work. Um, not memory seats, which is another good thing because the, uh, the ECU always packs up. And as I say, the wood is a slightly darker shade than I've seen in uh, UK spec ones. But the interior is lovely. The dash top is original. There's a couple of marks up there for where it's had something fitted. Um, and that's just a piece of, that's a little tiny bit of paper that got stuck under the panel. Uh, it's got a stereo fitted, but it's just to cover the hole. Um, the stereo isn't connected. Got this lovely wood rim steering wheel on it. Dash 
is it's got an MPH speedo in it. It's showing 81. Now, when I take it out in a minute, I'll find out if it's 81,000 kilometers or 81,000 miles. Um, but it's an MPH speedo, as you can see. Carpets are splendid. Got these nice overmats in them as well. And as I say the leather is is fantastic. Um, unmarked, really, the leather. Near side rear door, excellent. Oh, that's one thing we do want to show you is the uh, the, the A post and stuff. A post on that side looks fabulous. And down there as well. So there's always areas that uh, start to show bad wear on classics. Post, excellent. Never, no signs of any previous welding around here. Rear is as good as the front in terms of the leather. Um, headlining is lovely, not sagging the way that they can do. Near side rear wing is as beautiful as the rest. see under there there are same on the other side it's obviously had rear light guards fitted to it because there's a tiny hole there and another one just there that's where the light guard bolts through the wing they've been left open tailgate wise paint is slightly orange peely on the tailgate just a little bit not excessively so but there is a little bit of orange peel but in terms of Corrosion in the corners. No, we're all good. And so it's had a new, um, a new top tailgate as well. So it all looks lovely around the tail end. Looking down the offside, again looks beautifully straight. It's a really lovely Range Rover this one. Oh, one, one thing I did notice, just the, the vinyl here. There's a slight nick just out of the vinyl on the rear D-pillar. Just there. Um, Let's keep going round and so wheels are in excellent shape. Offside rear wing is lovely. Nothing to criticise there. A couple of bits of pitting on the door handles and slight discoloration just there on the door handle on the offside. Maybe the D post again. And down here. And then on there. Interior wise, once again, fabulous. Tiny nick just there, they always get that from the seat belt. Offside door, gorgeous. And again in here. Side front wing, lovely. Look in there. Scuttle panel and screen. Screen is very good. There's no big stone chips that I can see. Is that a tiny chip there? Yeah, very tiny chip just there, but absolutely minuscule. So no, that's about it. It's um, it's a beautiful car. It really is. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com for any more info. Right, quick video of start up and running when it's warm on this uh, Range Rover. Let's come up. Let's go out. As you can see temperature wise it's sitting just below the halfway point. to 
itself. You see the odd trace of the original colour of red under the bonnet. It's there. There we have it.